Shalom dear friends, welcome to Ashdod, welcome to my house, my apartment. I live in Ashdod, 40 kilometers from Gaza, on the sixth floor, with lots of neighbors, but my apartment have a bomb shelter, so when I hear siren, first of all I check in on my family, Vicky, Guy, Moriel, Sasson, when they come to visit, do you hear it? And we run to the bomb shelter because we have only 30 seconds to be ready. When I come in, uh, into the room, first of all, I'm locking the door and we have very special, as you can see, very strong door. So I'm in the room, closing the door, uh, door, is locked, door is locked, it's done. Then, second thing, it's to actually close the window and let me show you from the window. Uh, there is a beautiful view, guys closing it, a city of Kiryat Gat, room nice and tidy. But now, did you hear his voice? Open it again, guy, and show it. Do you hear this voice? That's the iron door. Yeah, you can close it. It's an iron door. And you'd close this door, you close the window, and you should be safe. Now, we try to make this room as nice as possible because we don't want to feel it as a, as a bomb shelter. Very thick walls. You see, like, very, very thick walls. Uh, so it's very solid walls. And till today, we used to think that shelter is totally safe. But yesterday, when rocket exploded, rocket from Gaza expo exploded in city of uh, Zirot, the Shna... Shna... Shna Shrapnel penetrated the steel and hit the six years old boy and he died. That's a new reality for me because I was sure when I have this closed, I'm fine. But actually, it's not. Actually, it's not. Now, we need to pray. In this story, remind me the importance of prayer. Even though we have bomb shelter, praise God, some of my congregational members don't have even bomb shelter and it's even more difficult but our hope and our trust is in Lord. So join me, join us, and pray for protection of Israel. Pray for an angels to stay over Israel. You know, God said, no, uh, lo yanum ve lo yashan, don't sleep, not, he don't sleep and don't slumber, Shomer Israel, the one who protected Israel. Sorry, it's my free translation, but God gave us so many promises about protection over Israel. Pray with us. We need your prayers, your faith, your support. And we're going to see glory of God because he promised to protect his people. Shalom from Israel.